Let's talk about how you can build relationships using email. I hear this all the time. Rach, email, you can't build relationships. People just delete my emails. Well, they're deleting your emails because there's not value in them. And we're gonna talk about how to add value in the next video. But for right now, I really, I want to show you, tell you, express to you the most important step when starting to use email is that you know who you're talking to. This isn't just actually for email either. This is for your business. You've got to know who your ideal customer is. Think about it. If you are talking to a grandmother who is retired and is starting to live life you know, free without kids, without just has grandkids coming to visit, they have this, this life where they travel, you're gonna speak a different language to her than you are to the 30 year old mom who has three kids under four, right? It's a very different language, not because they can't understand each other's, but because they're in a different life stage. So that life stage is different. And there are different things that make you tick. Listen, when I was a young mom, I my life consisted of <laughs> surviving and nap time. But now that I have teenagers, my life is very different. I'm speaking a different language. I, I'm more concerned about how are my kids doing and are they home, right? Whereas when they were younger, it was very different. I had different needs. So what, what was interesting to me then, what my hobbies were, what my interests were, were different when I was a mom of young kids than what they are now. So you really got to nail down who you're talking to, because if you don't know who you're speaking to, you won't connect with anyone. And I hear all the time, oh, but Rachel, my product is great for everyone. I'm sorry, friend, you've got to niche down because if you're speaking to everyone, you're talking to no one. In the next video, we are going to talk about the importance of adding value in your emails.